you're dealing with linear equations in your class and your teacher is asking you to figure out what is the slope or in other words the rate of change in a given table okay now you've probably already been shown how to find the slope in an equation you've probably already been shown how to find it in a graph and now what you're being asked to do is can you determine the slope in a table it's quite simple follow these steps and you'll be just fine one thing you're going to notice i have vertical table and I, I have a vertical table and I have a horizontal table written out for you. The reason I chose to do that is because oftentimes kids will do very well with vertical tables, but then they'll make the mistake that I see over and over and over again when that table is written out horizontally. So all you need to do to find slope is figure out what your change in Y over your change in X is. This is your Y column. This is your X column. In a horizontal table, X column or row and y row. So all you need to do is figure out your change in values by doing these change lines on the side. I will have my students always draw these out and write off to the side what's happening. 17, 18, 19, 20, there is a common pattern of plus one. Over here, 7, 10, 13, 16, common pattern of plus three. We're adding, we're adding. So we're going to say change in y over change in x. That means my slope here would be 1 over 3. So if you're being asked, what is the slope? What is the constant rate of change in this table? For this one, it would be 1 third. Now we go to this horizontal one. Change lines are now going horizontally. You'll see exactly why kids make the mistake of flipping these numbers. That is the most common error that I will see when uh, grading assignments or tests on this skill. Okay, so here I have change in X, 5, 7, 9, 11. We are adding 2, adding 2, adding 2. It's a common pattern. Here I'm adding 10 throughout. So what I want to do is I want to take my change in Y and put it over my change in X. Obviously, kids see the 2 on top, the 10 on bottom, and they're going to want to say 2 over 10. That's a natural misconception. Take a second, stop, and ask yourself, what is my change in y, 10, this is right over 10, over my change in x, 2. And then simplify, 10 over 2 is going to be equivalent to 5. So my slope or my rate of change for this table would be 5. Now, what if one was negative and one was positive? You're going to be taking a negative value. Let's say here I was going down instead of up so let's just change that to 50 40 30 20. instead of going up 10 now i would be going down 10 and all that would change is now i have a negative 10 up here negative 10 divided by 2 would give me a negative 5. if both are negative then a negative divided by another negative would make a positive. Something to think about when you're going through these problems. Hopefully this makes sense to you. Draw your change lines. Always take a second, stop and think, and make sure you're putting the change in Y over the top of the change in X. Good luck. Study hard. You're going to do great on your upcoming test.